Hi, y'all. Over the years, I've seen quite a few posts and articles about us all having free will. And I was never fully on board with that message, and I'm still not. However, I'm willing to learn more about it. I haven't done a lot of research. I've done minimal research about it, but I've seen some scientific articles as well. Yesterday, I put the question on Facebook, and someone named Aaron, he gave me his permission to use his quote. He said this, in part, Sure, we are free to move about in our construct environment, but ultimately, we are still bound by the astrological construct which supersedes our free will. That struck me like a thunderbolt, y'all. So, what if, and a lot of people have their own variations of who our creator is, I like to say source most high, because I'm convinced that there is a most high, highest of the high, I don't know who or what it is, but I know that it exists that it lives, that it vibrates and has frequencies and energies and gives us guidance and synchronicities and so forth. So that being said, overall, we all internally have our hearts in the same places, our lungs in the same places, our lower regions in the same places, and on and on it goes. We don't have free will in that regard. We don't have free will in how our heart rates are, are pulsating. We don't have free will about how things circulate in our bodies overall. Now, of course, our diet has some correspondences in you know, what does occur in our bodies, but we're all typically born with our organs all placed in the same locations in our bodies, okay? We don't have free will about that. And then what about people who are born as conjoined? They don't have free will about that, though there are choices via surgery to separate them based on the parental decisions and the medical expertise and so forth. But there's no free will there. Also, if we commit, unless we commit suicide, we don't know when we're going to die. We don't know where we're going to die. So that's not in our free will either. And what about, now we have these different electrical wires we've all probably seen where they have wiring that's blue, then they have a red wire in the mix and a yellow wire and so forth. And then when they put them in certain arrangements, they do certain things electrically. What about if Source Most High did some brain wiring and decided, okay, for the balances of universal movements and du uh, duality and yin and yang, what if Source Most High said, okay, I'm going to wire this person's brain or these people's brains to be murderers? Now, I'm not saying that people who are murderers should escape consequences in punitive situations as a result of their conduct. Yes, they should. But what about if Source Most High and the master plan put in place the consequences that are subsequent to murders? We don't know. So do murderers have a free will, really, whether they're going to be murderers or not? Or was it designed from their creation by the Most High that that's what the fuck they were going to be or are going to be with the consequences uh, as a result, punitive? So, again, I don't know. Now, the Chinese zodiac is what I'm more adhere to. And when I looked up my animal in the Chinese zodiac, it fits me to a T. I didn't arrange that. That wasn't my free will to have the characteristics of that particular select animal that fits me to a T. And then some people, you know, that they, they, they avoid certain signs because they have did the natal charts and the astrological studies and determined that they're not a match. Now, is free will there or is that something doing, having to do with the cosmic arrangements and the, where, where the planets are at a certain time and we were all born, you know, where planets were in different locations and no two people are alike and our behaviors and demeanors are somewhat dependent on the times we were born, the hours, the minutes, the seconds, and so forth. Like, I could have a twin say, and I was born at 158, and my twin born at 2, we might come under different astrological uh, 
correspondences, planetary arrangements, moon flows, and so forth. And we're not alike. And so is that is that a choice? Is that free will? Or uh, is it tied in to something in the cosmos that we have no firm, full grasp of? We don't know all the angles, but Source Most High could very well have designed us to be just what we are. I do believe that that had to happen. So, of course, you know, we have measures, I believe, of free, free will, but I don't think it's all in our control. And that's why certain signs don't mesh together. Certain signs are avoided by certain people romantically because they know they don't jail. And that's more dealing with what's going on in the solar system arrangements, I do believe. Now, I also believe that with our minds, with mental exercises, and you know, the universe is mental, we can transmute some of the things that go on. We can transform ourselves in certain areas. We can make certain alterations and adjustments to aid in our transformation and transmutation of what is that we no longer want to be. But I don't think we have full powers even in that regard. Just how much can we transmute? Just how much can we transform? So I just wanted to share that and you know, anyone that wants to chime in, I'd be glad to know what you believe because again, I, I just cannot conclude that we have entire free will, y'all. So thank y'all for listening.